Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nick and Sharon confront Adam when Maria and Tessa receive distressing news. Maria and Tessa inform Elena in the park that they went the infant to the pediatrician this morning and received distressing news. Esther informs Sharon that she was hoping to see her grandchild at Crimson Lights. Sharon compliments her on area and informs her that Tessa and Mariah are adjusting well to parenthood. Chloe and Esther talk about Esther taking over the running of the coffee shop. Chloe worries that it might be excessive. It's not like working for Jill, Esther sneers, adding, this is perfect for me. Nick enters and requests a brief conversation with Sharon. Nick asks Sharon how she feels about his father's plans as they leave the house and move to the patio. He wants to kill Kirsten, which Sharon fears she will use against him. It sounds more like Newman Media will eat them up than like there will be a merger. Nick nods in agreement and wonders if they'll end up reporting to Adam. More, Tucker has trouble ahead. Victor informs Nikki at the ranch that he has chosen to combine McCall and Newman Media because he believes the moment is perfect. Adam thought he was acting with a hidden agenda. He has a good reason to be curious about Nikki, in Nikki's opinion. Victor claims that this was always the intention. As a result of Nate's advice, they realized that Newman Media was required. He doesn't intend to wait. Who's going to run it? inquires Nikki. Victor is still unsure. He is cautioned by Nikki not to exert too much pressure on his sons, saying, there has to be a limit. Victor is putting the business in a successful position. Nikki objected that he was including a wild card in the mix. Nate is excessively self-centered and ambitious. Likewise, Victoria's. Victor is waiting for her to call him back while also making progress. There will be a very different vibe at Newman Media when Victoria returns from Los Angeles. Allison Lanier discusses Chummer, a bummer. Adam queries Nate at society about his meeting with his father the night before and his current whereabouts. Nate claims that Victor and he have only had private discussions. Adam says that Victor changed his mind regarding a merger as soon as he left. Nate compliments him and points out that he was the one who pushed for it when he blackmailed Audra. Nick allegedly told Adam that he couldn't be trusted. Nate responds that they failed to develop a sound business plan for the enterprise they are managing. That's the angle you're playing, Adam snaps indignantly. Is that how you're gaining favor with my father? Nate claims Victor approached him. Being the CUO, he has made it his responsibility to be aware of the situation. He advised him that combining SNA with Newman Media is a wise choice. Although Adam was always correct, his strategies were extremely dishonest. Victor ought to have released you, but instead he's awarding you the prize. Why can't you accept victory outright instead of constantly looking for an excuse to make new enemies? Why and are Adam Nate? They argue over whether Nate is influential with Victor. Are you that arrogant? Nate queries Adam, wondering if he can only be happy if he wins on his terms. Nick texts Adam to say they should meet at his apartment. He informs Nate that something is happening and that although he doesn't know what it is just yet, he will find out. When Victor merges SNA with Newman Media, Nate phones Victoria and requests a return call. Victor asks, did you know this was coming? Victor is integrating SNA with Newman Media. Elena is told by Mariah and Tessa at the park about how Aria didn't respond to the thunder and how Sharon set up an appointment to soothe their concerns. She may have substantial hearing loss, the specialist ultimately concluded. She claimed that while it might be conductive hearing loss, if it affects the inner ear, it might be permanent. Elena is pleased to hear that they scheduled a consultation with a specialist and advises them not to assume the worst because there is a chance that it can be treated. They promise to go to any lengths for their daughter. Elena exhorts them to go cautiously. Nick is given Why advice from Elena? Sharon on the terrace of Crimson Lights not to overreact. Nick is upset at Adam and Victor yanking each other around. Sharon asserts that they must see Victor's strategies. Adam's desire for the big chair, Nick believes, will only feed his baser inclinations. Sharon hopes he is mistaken. Sharon instructs Esther before she and Nick return inside. Esther assures her that she can handle it. Go enjoy moguling and don't worry about anything. Esther promises Chloe she can manage this after Nick and Sharon leave. Chloe is so delighted for her because she knows she can do it. In an embrace, 
Esther praises her daughter for being so thoughtful and showing concern for her. You have my undying love. They kiss one more. Adam is taken aback when Sally knocks on his door. She enters and says she has considered the advantages and disadvantages of his offer. Adam is hoping she will agree. Sally needs to discuss it with Nick still, but she wants to decide for herself. She also has some inquiries. When Nate enters the GCAC, Audra invites him to join her and asks him to begin with any positive information. She learns from Nate that Victor intends to combine SNA and Newman Media. Nate tries to comfort Audra despite her assumption that she won't be in charge of it. Victor turning around and fulfilling Adam's wishes infuriates Audra. She should not assume that she knows how this will turn out, in Nate's opinion. Astrid Y and R. At Adam's house, he tells Sally about the merger and lets her know that, although being cautiously enthusiastic, he doesn't trust his father's intentions. There are simply too many cooks in the corporate kitchen, he argues, because Nate has somehow managed to win over his father. He keeps talking about how amazing it will feel to be back in the CEO chair of the business they founded, and he wants her to be there at his side. Sally is dubious, but Adam insists that it is his business and was never supposed to be taken from him in the first place. Suddenly, the door is knocked on. It's Nick and Sharon, he announces. Sally groans. Elena reveals to Mariah and Tessa in the park that she just put in another all-nighter at work. They reassure her that her suggestions were really helpful. How has she been? They inquire. Elena reports having been quite busy and being interested in some fresh studies. The extra shifts are welcomed by her. Tessa and Mariah are concerned that she is taking on more work to put off confronting what happened with Nate. Elena claims that the only thing she hasn't been disappointed by is her work. Tessa and Mariah reassure her that they are here for her. More, Kyle and Victoria. Audra believes that Victor's desire for his entire family to work for the business is evident at the GCAC. Nate believes that he might decide to keep her on as CEO. He exhorts her to continue on. Instead of waiting and hoping for the best, Audra says, look at Adam. Nate forbids her from imitating the man, but Audra believes he went after what he wanted, and Victor must somehow accept that. She like her work, therefore now is the time for her to go and fight for it. She exits after saying that. Nick lie and R. Nick and Sharon are led into Adam's flat by Adam. Nick approaches Sally and queries the situation. Sally admits that she had to ask some questions after Adam offered her a job. Nick declares, another unilateral decision. What job did he give you, Sharon queries. They allegedly avoided becoming specific. Nick thinks she'd be a fantastic addition, but Adam ought to have discussed this with them first. He admonishes his brother, you are not in charge. Sally decides to go after realizing they have a lot to talk about. She asks Nick whether he's upset that she didn't notify him sooner at the door. Though he wishes she had asked him, he is certain that she didn't want him to have any bearing on her choice. First, Sally needed to clear things up with Adam. They decide to get together and kiss afterwards. Adam assumes they want to discuss how to make this work going forward once Sally leaves. He believes that since Newman Media is the main player, he should be in charge. Sharon and Nick both smile. Noel, he and R. Nikki and Victor are greeted by Audra as she enters the ranch. She was told a rumor that SNA and Newman Media were going to merge. According to Victor, nothing has been decided yet. With profits increasing, Audra believes the CEO should be given some leeway. She has been a successful leader and will stay productive. Nikki queries how she learned. According to Audra, Adam confronted Nate, who believes Adam is coordinating a power move with Victor. I ask, with all due respect, will I lose my job?